Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a wee salmon fly, and this is my version of the fly called the Sunset Shrimp. Now the hook in the vase is a size 11, uh, salar, double, and black. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni 3801 red. I'm just going to come in and get my thread started, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook, and re remove my waist tag. The tag and the ribbon on the fly is going to be the ultra wire in hot yellow. A wee length off here. So I'm just going to take my wire, offer it in underneath the shank of the hook, a couple of turns to catch that in, then bring your wire in underneath the shank and just run your thread down, tying in the wire. Now I'm just going to bring my thread down past the points of the hook and then I'm going to come around with four or five turns of the hot yellow wire and on my last turn bring it up and in between the two hooks. I'm just going to follow this around with my thread. I'm just going to keep the wire in underneath. Run this up, just taking open turns of the thread just to the length of the body. Then I'm going to fold the wire back and run the thread back down tied up against the, the tag. Now the tail on the fly is going to be a, a sunburst orange bucktail. I've got some off here just to get it started and you can have the tail as long or short as you like it's up to you I usually tie mine in around about a length and a half to two lengths of the hook over the back I'll we'll come around with a pinch and loop and a couple of turns to catch in the tail and I want to come in and trim away the excess and a bit of a tapered cut I'm going to put some flesh into the tail I'm just going to use a couple of strands of the orange micro flesh. So let's get ourselves a couple of strands here off the hank and just offer this up into the, the tail. Now if you don't like flesh just don't add the flesh in. A couple of turns I'll catch that in. Gonna fold the flesh back. A couple of turns up over the top then I'm gonna come in and Trim away the excess, just moisten these, leave them on my desk for the, the wing, then just run your thread up, tying in the cut ends of the bucktail. It moves on, you just bring it back round right into position. Now you want to try and keep the body as level as you can at the back because we're going to use a Maynard tinsel in gold for the the first part of the body. Now, first part of the body is going to be the gold and silver Mylar tinsel by Uni in size 12. So, let's get a length of this off. Now, I want the gold side, so I'm going to tie it in with the silver side facing myself and on my side of the hook. A couple of turns to catch that in. And then we'll just come around with the tinsel. I just want to get one nice clean turn going at the back. I just want to check it. Okay, happy enough with that. And then you're just looking overlapping turns of your tinsel up the first part of the body. Just come round. A couple of turns to hold that into position. And then you can come in and trim away the excess of the tinsel. The next part of the body is going to be the light orange. Uni floss, nice bright colour there. The length off here. So just come around with a turn to hold. Just pull this in the length of the second part of the body. Put my thread up, tying that in. And then just come around with your your floss. I just want to open that up a wee bit. It's better. And then just taking touch and turns of the floss of the second part of the body. A couple of turns I'll catch that in. Come in with your scissors, remove the excess of the floss. Then we can bring up our rib. Now, just looking two turns on each section of the body, I think. It's plenty. Up to there. Follow the 
mess around with my thread. Won't turn the hole. A couple of turns to secure, and you can bend and break away the wire. Now the wing is going to be fox, and it's going to. It's this has just been dyed more to the yellow side of sunburst, if you like. Um, nice bright rich colour. Uh, it's going to take a wee pinch of the, the fox here for the for the wing. Trim off the tail. And I'm just going to remove some of the rubbish from the bottom. Uh, I want my wing. Uh, I'm not going to measure this. I'm not measuring the, the guard hers. I'm measuring the, the soft there, mobile fibre at the back here. So when I offer this up to the hook, I'm just getting the soft mobile fibre coming past the bend. I'm just going to hold it on top of the hook, come around with a pinching loop, and a couple of tight turns to secure it in. I right, just want to see what way I'm sitting. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Just get it straight for you. And then just tighten up. Then I want to come in and just remove the excess from the fox. A couple of wee fibers I missed. Take them away. Take my thread down over the cut ends, tan these in. Then I'm going to go back to the two strands of orange flesh that we used for the tail earlier. We'll just offer these up into the, the wing. Pinch and loop, fold the excess back. Bring your thread up over the top now. Just going to trim away the, the excess of the flesh. Sit a wee bit high, so I'm just going to crease it to get it to come down a wee bit. It'll come down anyway once you start to fish the fly. Right. The next haggle on the fly. This looks like sunburst haggle, but it's actually a rich golden olive. Right. I just use them off the cock saddle cape, just the, the, the haggles at the bottom here. Just to use them up. I have got a Chinese cock cape in this colour, but it's just to use the materials up. There's no point in wasting them. Now I'm just stroking the fibres back to reveal the tip. Just offering this up to the hook. A couple of turns to catch in the tip. I'm going to fold the tip back and bring my thread back up over the tip of the haggle. I want to come around, locate the tip, break that away. Just going to come in with my scissors, just run it up the stem of the haggle. That will start the process of folding the haggle fibers back. Now, I only want a couple of turns, two, two turns of this haggle will be plenty. So, that's one. And then I'll come around with another one. be enough there and just come around with my thread catch in the stem of the haggle couple of turns to secure and then just come in and remove the excess if I ever get up now at this stage anything that's going forward I'm just going to come in and sweep it back Bring my thread on down to the eye and back up. Now, just got a wee step there, so I'm just trying to level that out the best I can. Now I'm going to add jungle cock in at this point. Two eyes here on my desk, so I'm just going to get them lined up the best I can. And all I do is just line them up, stroke the fibres back, offer these up to the hook. Hold them on the sides, come around with a couple of loose turns just to see what way you're sitting. And I just want to make sure that the, the two jungle cocks' eyes are level. I'm happy enough with that, so I'm going to tighten up. 
then I'm just going to come in and just fold the, the stems of the jungle cock back bring my thread turns up over the top nice and tight here just making sure that they're well tied in and keeping my thread tight I'm just going to break off the stems just have a wee check okay not looking too bad now it's a bright wee fly it's a great fly for PD water good fly if you fish bait rivers now the next haggle is just going to be a Badger haggle and hot orange. Right, just looking at one of the smaller haggles here. Just to finish off. Same again, just stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. After this up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns to hold. Fold back the tip. A couple of turns back up over the top. Same again, really looking two turns off out of this wee haggle as well. Run my scissors up the stem and then just come around with one turn in front of the other. That's plenty. I'm just going to come around with a thread turn, catch that in, a couple of turns to hold. Just having a look. That stem's thin enough for me to fold back, so I'm just stripping away the excess of the fibre on the hackle. I'm going to fold the stem back and then just tie up over the top of the stem nice and tight here with your thread turns to secure this in. Keeping your thread tight, you break away the, the excess hackle and stem. And just come in with your whip finishing tool and just do one a whip finish. Come in, trim away your tan thread. And that's the wee fly done. Now, all you have to do here is just to stick on. We drop the super glue first onto the head. So, just onto the head. Don't want this going anywhere else. Just ruin the fly at this stage. Especially if it starts to go into your under your hackles and then once the super glue is dried guys I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the super glue just to because it, it, it does go moisture it does take a moisture balloon but there you go that's my version of a sunset shrimp now if you face PD water that's got all the correct colour combinations that in my opinion that you'd like to see in a fly um, tie a few up, hopefully we'll get a drop of water here, get the fish up the system, hopefully they can catch a few fish and take lanes.